like your style Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I'd run the world, I'd run the miles The way you look at me I think I'm going insane My friends, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another major key physiques related video. Today is gonna to be an update and today is the day that uh, major key physiques relocates once again. I just thought I'd put that out there first because that is what today is about. Today I'm actually uh, shipping every single piece of major key physiques stock back to New Zealand, back to Christchurch from Alice Springs. This has been a, a decision and a process that's been in the works for, for months. You, you will have seen my previous video at the end of December saying that I was shutting down Major Key Physiques for at least a month whilst I was away in New Zealand. That's continued throughout you know January, February, now we're into March and it's going to continue for the next two and a half months because I am sea freighting uh, all of Major Key Physiques products back to Christchurch. Now that means that moving forward, Major Key Physiques is going to be a New Zealand brand. It's going to be a New Zealand business. I'm going to have to re-register it, all of that stuff, you know, register for tax and all, all that kind of business. Um, because at the end of the day, I am moving back to New Zealand um, for the first time in 10 years. And I'm going to be moving back there with no strings attached here in Australia. I have moved away from Alice before, but, you know, always in the back of my mind having to come back for either a job or for you know my place that I'm paying rent for. Both of those factors have been taken off the table. One was out of my control and one was within my control. Now I will be making a video in the future about my, my job, uh, my job of six and a half years being a disability support worker and um, you know how that, that came to an end. You see, for the last three years, before I even had children, I knew that whilst I had that job, with the money that it was paying, I simply couldn't leave. And after you've been in a job for three, four, five, six years, you get really, really comfortable. And you need something to sort of come out of the blue to shock you or to either, you know, yeah, shock you out of your position or just, just make you sort of realize that maybe money ain't so important. And so due to a number of factors, um, I actually uh, left that job. I left my six figure salary and I've decided to shut up shop here in Alice Springs once and for all and head back to Christchurch. That's what I feel in my heart. That's what I feel in my head. And that's what's happening now. We will talk about my, my personal life in, in future videos. We will definitely talk about why I chose to leave a six-figure salary to head back to Christchurch where nothing is guaranteed. And that is because money ain't everything and I need to be happy. I need to be happy. I need to be in a good headspace for me to even begin to try and, uh, you know, be, be, a, uh, be useful in life. You know what I mean? I, I feel... I feel um, well, I have felt useless for a fair while, and that is just due to my mental state, my mental attitude. You know, I I I I, I lack confidence. Um, I, I do lack self-esteem at times, and if you're lacking those things, you know, any plans or any any dreams you have sort of uh, you know get put on the back burner, and and it takes it takes time. It takes certain people to, to sort of you know rev you up in life it's, it's a process to get yourself back on track and I'm happy to say that I am back on track now let's talk about major key physiques okay you would have seen in a previous video I shut the business down at the end of December this was because I was going back to New Zealand my dad had shouted me a trip for, for New Year's I went back there had a great time two and a half weeks came back to Alice and was sort of just you know back in the day-to-day -day grind and I certainly wasn't happy. So uh, left my job, decided to tick something off the bucket list that I've always wanted to do, which was travel to Thailand and train Muay Thai in Thailand. Uh, I did that, 
In fact, following this video, you'll probably see um, I've made a, a series of vlogs. We've got 10 vlogs altogether covering my two and a half weeks that was in Thailand. Um, <laughs> complete beginner. I learned a lot, gained a lot of confidence, came back, and, um, and here we are. We're back in Alice Springs once again. And, you know, it, it probably takes about three or four days for my mood to go from up here and it slowly, slowly tapers down and then I'm just back to square one. So, I, you know, I've decided, this has been a long process, a long decision, but I have decided once and for all that I am moving back to Christchurch and Mage Kiefer Zeeks is coming with me. Now, up until yesterday, I didn't even know if I was going to continue this brand. I thought, look, I'm going to make this video, I'm going to say, look, I've sold all my stock or given it away. You know, it was, it was great while it lasted, but that's it. You know, I'm going to be one of those statistics of the guys that started a small business and it just didn't work but at the end of the day I'm not giving up I'm not giving up and um, you know what I'm doing is I'm relocating myself and my business back to New Zealand so today is the day that everything gets picked up I've got all my paperwork here ready for customs and all that shit and um, a company allied Pickfords is picking up all of my stock plus a lot of my my personal belongings my clothes uh, plus some computer equipment and all that stuff is getting taken today I'm making the payment and it should arrive on my doorstep in Christchurch in eight to ten weeks time so that is that now uh, the other major thing on my mind is getting my unit as you can see behind me rented before I went to Thailand I put this up for rent I cleaned it I, I removed everything from it I thought it's gonna be rented within a week you know this is a really nice unit Unfortunately, I think I put the price a little bit too high, so I come back from Thailand three weeks later and it's still empty. Now what that's given me a chance to do is to actually stay here. I didn't have to you know, pay for a hotel, I didn't have to rush anything. I could come back here, stay here, pack everything properly, all of my major key physiques gear. Today comes, it all gets taken, the unit is once again completely empty, and I do have a prospective tenant that came in for an open home on Monday, today's Wednesday, and hopefully they're going to take it off my hands. I'm going to leave back to, back to New Zealand. All my stuff's going to be freighted across. There's going to be a tenant in my unit. And Bob's your uncle, as they say. Now, there's a huge elephant in the room, guys. I know that, and that is my children my two beautiful daughters. They are moving to Rockhampton in April. And this is going to be very similar to what happened when they moved to Cairns in, uh, in December of, of 2018. What I'm not going to do this time is, is follow. I may follow in time, but at the moment I'm he heading back to Christchurch. And that's, that's a decision that's taken a lot of thought, but it's a decision I've, I've come to terms with. And so that's what I'm doing. And I'm looking forward to it. Now, one thing I will mention, and this is, this is huge when starting a business, especially when you've got apparel or anything targeted at a certain you know, demographic of people. Major Key Physiques, I, I originally started as a bodybuilding brand, bodybuilding and gym. But I was so afraid of cutting off the other part of, of a sporting you know, market. I wanted to target everybody. I wanted to include everybody in this brand, but at the end of the day, it didn't work. And when it comes to marketing, when it comes to making posts and things like that, you know, when you are typing copy, you need to be targeting a certain audience. When you are, you know, paying for advertisements, you need to be targeting a certain audience. And I was finding myself just unable to, to come to, to that, that niche. And the niche that I originally wanted was bodybuilding and fitness. And so moving forward, when we do relaunch in May or June, it's going to be MKP, bodybuilding and fitness. The t-shirts are going to be renamed to bodybuilding tees. The tanks are going to be renamed to muscle tanks. You know, everything is going to be going towards that niche. And that's a niche I'm interested in. You know, I still follow bodybuilding extremely closely. The Arnold Classic was just on. I'm a massive fan. And that's, you know, that, that's, that's, that's where I want to target um, my niche so that's going to be the niche moving forward so that is that's something I've come to terms with um, but it's something I'm really you know comfortable with now because at the end of the day I was I was so close to just giving up I was really close to giving up I was looking at options to sell my stock at a really really cheap price wholesale or basically clearance you know it's, it's basically stock that 
you're either going to burn or <laughs> like literally you're, it's, just, it's just burning a hole in your pocket storing it you're struggling to sell it you may be thinking about closing down your business this is when you you sort of you start talking to companies that take off that take excess stock away from you um, they pay to ship it you don't have to pay anything and they will pay you a certain amount per item now I had over 1500 items that I listed at a certain price a very very cheap price extremely cheap I just wanted someone to take it off my hands because I was just so down I was just like nah this is not working and I'm gonna tell you right now the price that I got offered there was jumpers there was tees, tanks the accessories the leggings I mean the jumpers and the leggings cost me thirty dollars to make you know straight up and they came from China you know they're not cheap Nothing was cheap that I made. The t-shirts cost $20 to make. Now I got offered $1.50 per item. $1.50 per item. Doesn't matter what it was, it was $1.50 per item. I listed 1,500 items. That means I would have got $2,250 for every single one of my items. They would have paid me the money, they would have taken it all away, and I would have shut the business down and that's it. That was tempting, very, very tempting at certain times. But at the end of the day, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So what I've now done is basically pay that same amount to a shipping company to get all of my all of my gear, all of my stuff back home to New Zealand. It's it's through sea freight, so it, it is a reasonable price for two grand to get everything back to New Zealand to my doorstep. Um, you know, was was a deal I was I was willing to make. So, as of today, that's what's happening. We're targeting a niche. It's going to be a New Zealand brand. Hopefully, moving forward, I'm going to be able to create relationships in Christchurch, and and you know, hopefully, get our our gear made locally. That's something I'm really excited to do. Obviously, minimum order quantities are going to be so much smaller than than um, than you know what I've done in the past. I was. I jumped the gun guys, I jumped the gun on the business, I should have done orders of 20 per colour, not 150, which is what I had to do, uh, because I went to China, I wanted the cheaper prices, and at the end of the day, they probably weren't that cheap, because I went for quality over quantity, and most people that go to China don't give a fuck about quality. So, it's been a massive learning experience guys, and you, you, you've come along for it, you know, this, it's, it's, <laughs> it's been up and down, and... Uh, I guess I wouldn't have it any other way because I'm learning constantly on a daily basis. I'm learning things about myself. I'm learning things about business. I'm learning things about what makes me tick and what makes me happy. And at the end of the day, bodybuilding makes me happy. I love it. I do. So that's that's where we're going. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. That's a big overall update on Major Key Physiques and what's happening. As you can see, like I said, I've got the customs forms plus inventory forms, everything else like that. I'm going to have to get them filled out. I think he's going to come in about a couple of hours. He's going to meet me here, pick up the stuff that's here. Then we're going to go to the storage unit and pick up that stuff. And then I'm going to say sayonara and uh, try and get this place tenanted as fast as possible. And then I'll be back to Christchurch. Back to the homeland. And uh, well, I just want to say I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Anyone that is waiting on Major Key Physiques to open, and I know there's a, f there's a few of you, not a fair few, but there's definitely a few, uh, Major Key Physiques will reopen as soon as the stock lands in Christchurch and as soon as I can get it, you know, ready to ship out orders. I'm not giving up. I feel like Major Key Physiques as a sporting brand would never have worked. I had thoughts of changing it to Major Key Performance. I then had a couple of epiphanies that thought, no, you know what, no, this is my brand. You know, in the bodybuilding realm, uh, physique is thrown around a hell of a lot, so it makes sense in the bodybuilding and fitness world, and so that is what we're doing. Um, I have a couple of, you know, really exciting projects that I'm going to make happen as soon as I get back to Christchurch. We have a couple of sponsored athletes, Major Key Physique sponsored athletes. They've been on the team for over a year. They are competitive bodybuilders and they will be making their run to the stage in late 2020. So as you see a whole lot of other fitness brands, you know, supplement brands, they have their own YouTube channels, but what they do, they usually, they won't talk about their own products as much, 
but they will film a video series of their sponsored athletes, you know, training, talking in the lead up to their show. And that is what I'd really love to do. That's what I'd like to um, begin the Mage Key Physiques YouTube channel with, is a road to the stage series, you know, following our sponsored athletes. We've got one guy, Darren Onikawa, New Zealand's best bodybuilder at the moment. Actually, no, he's the second best bodybuilder. The first best is a guy, Steve Orton. Um, came sixth in the Arnold Classic Australia last year. Absolute legend. In fact, when I get back to Christchurch, I've already made contact with Steve. And if I decide to do a show, he is going to be coaching me into the show. So that's very, very exciting. We've got Darren Onikawa, and we've got another girl, Rebecca, who is in Wellington. She is a natural athlete. She benches 90 kilos, and she's about 60 kilos. Um, extremely impressive. Both, both athletes I love. Both athletes I've loved getting behind, and both athletes I predict we will be making some real fire content this year. So that is a massive update. I do have plenty of other videos to come. If you have been enjoying my uh, uh, reactions, you know I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know how many more I'm going to be able to do. Um, I have to be in the right headspace to do them. Basically, before I left for Thailand, I. I prepared 20, 30, maybe even 40 videos. Those are the ones you've seen me put out on a daily basis. That's what you have to do when you've got a YouTube channel, you wanna keep it consistent, you have to put in the work, you have to, you have to grind, you have to prepare for, for times when you won't be making content, and that's exactly what happened. I'd wake up in Thailand, I'd, I'd press publish on my next video, I'd go down to training, I'd have a great day, and just know that you know consistent content is coming out on my channel. Now I'm probably not getting the views that I'd, I'd hope to get or that I used to get, but I'm never gonna give up. I'm always gonna be here and I'm always gonna be my authentic self. So thanks for being here guys. If you have listened to this 17 minutes, um, I wanna thank you and uh, I wanna say have a fantastic day. And uh, times are changing man, but Major Key Physiques is not going anywhere. And it's going to be a proudly New Zealand based and New Zealand made brand. Because that's where I'm from. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.